All right, what do you do when you go to thrift stores and you keep striking out and you can't find anything good? For me, I just kept going <laughs> multiple days in a row. So this thrift with me is me going to many different stores across a few days. Um, here's a few things I left behind. This is a pretty adorable theory jacket and I do occasionally pick up this brand, but you know, maybe if that were at the bins, I would have grabbed it, but I just didn't think it was worth it. Here's an Eileen Fisher. It's this silk kind of bomber style jacket, very lightweight. Um, if this were a larger size, I probably would have grabbed it. It did look like maybe it had a couple snags. And um, so I, I thought it was too risky, but obviously we know that I love my Eileen. So <laughs> yeah, here's a jacket by Ecru. Ecru is a brand that I feel like I picked up before and I was slightly disappointed when I looked up comps at home. Um, but I really like the style that with the zip off section, um, it was just pretty heavily pilled as you can see in a second and it's black. So it would need a lot of lint rolling, definitely not worth it. So I left it. Here's a Rebecca Taylor jacket and I really like the style. It's a great size. I think it was a 14, uh, Rebecca Taylor. I pass on most of the time, but in this case, if this were marked maybe 10, like normal, um, and with my 20% off coupon, I maybe would have grabbed it, but I passed. Here's a couple Everlane jeans. You can see they marked them up to 15. So even with the coupon, I did not think these were worth it. I maybe would have grabbed these at the bins and lotted them together, um, but yeah, I passed. All right, I pretty much stopped picking up this brand. Um, the last couple times I picked it up, I've had no interest. I like that they've got unusual funky styles. It's it's Revice, um, but yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know if it's just going out of style, if people are over it, but um, I passed. Here's a Lafayette 148 pair of white pants. Good size, size 10. They look like they were in good condition, but this brand I'm really picky with and uh, white pants, I'm just almost rare. I very rarely pick, pick, pick up, <laughs> I can't even say it. So here's a pair of shoes, Noble, which I actually do like this brand, but the condition wasn't all that great. They were definitely worn and, and this is a CrossFit brand. So I left that behind. Here's an Eileen Fisher sweater. Again, we all know I love my Eileen, but just something about, I don't know if it was the color or what, it just felt worn and didn't look like it had a little pull in the back. I really like the style, it's a good size, but yeah, definitely passed on that. Here's a Jer Jared Daryl, I think is how you say it. I could be wrong. Um, I've sold him a couple times and I kind of stopped picking him up because it doesn't, it takes a long time for this stuff to sell for me. Um, maybe it's just the stuff I've picked up in the past, but I didn't pick it up that time. All right, I can't read this brand. It's like something Amore, um, but it was a sequin dress. I thought, oh, New Year's is, you know, a few months away. It's new with tags, good size, uh, but I do not want to take photos of that. Absolutely not. <laughs> so, all right, on to some stuff that I grabbed. So this is something I just thought was kind of cute for fall. This was a two, this was a two dollar day, meaning all white tags are two dollars. It used to be our dollar day, and then they increased it to a dollar ninety nine. Um, but Scotch and Soda is a pretty pricey brand. I thought this was a cute little style for fall, and I decided to grab it. All right, this is a cute little vest. It's uh, Masuk, exclusively Masuk. Honestly, I I kind of want to wear it because I just like the style. I like the simplicity, easy to throw over something. I might not wear it, but I'll definitely sell it. And yeah. All right, these are pretty cute. They're rails pants, and they kind of have this animal texture print to them. So I grabbed those. Again, not a dollar or not a two dollar item, but with my coupon, I thought it was worth it. Here's a pair of I think these are Outdoor Voices. Um, I don't pick up this brand as much anymore, but this was a two dollar item, and I like the color. And yeah, I was so excited about this. This is my first time finding Filson. This isn't one of their like amazing Filson pieces, but just seeing a brand I've been wanting to pick up for a long time is the most exciting. Um, so the comps for this are kind of around the $50 mark. Some of their stuff can sell for much more. So here's an adorable little Torah dress and I'm trying to block out the people behind me. <laughs> I think the manager was also eyeing me and coming over quite a few times, so it was rough, but uh, this is an absolutely adorable Torah dress. I would not pay more than this, the $2. Um, so again, it was, it was on sale that day, but this is a great basic. I've sold this sweater before. It's Moth by Anthropology. Again, it's a $2 item. Um, because we're going into the right season, because it's a great neutral, I decided to grab it, but this probably will only sell for, you know, 25-ish, 20, 25, but I like it. 
Here's a Bryn Walker. This is a lag and look brand that I really like finding and picking up. I'm trying it on just to show you because it's easier than me holding it up. I'm not interested in this color for me, but I do love a good hood. <laughs> a hood like this is my favorite. If this were a different color, I might keep it, but it's pretty cute and it was only $2, which is even better. All right, next up was a kind of spring summer blazer, um, <laughs> but it was $2. It's absolutely adorable. I don't mind holding on to this for a little bit. It's frame, which is frame denim, and they do make other stuff. Um, I just really liked it, so. Yeah, I grabbed it. All right, these jeans I decided to grab even though they were a little high priced because they're new with tags, uh, but they're a great size. They're, I think, a 31 Everlane. They have all the tags attached. And honestly, I thought maybe I would just try them on. They're super high rise, which isn't my style. So I, I use the discount. I'll still sell them because they are in good condition and a good size. So I'm hoping for maybe 50 for those. We'll see. All right, and then this was another $2 item that I grabbed, which Current Elliott I'm very hit or miss on, but I do like the moto style of this and we're just going into jean season where I feel like this is appropriate. So I grabbed it. Just a quick pause for the sponsor of today's video, which is One Skin. I have been loving this moisturizer recently, which is the OS1 topical supplement because it's lightweight and it glides on so smoothly, which I personally love all year round, but I especially love it in the summer. Plus, it has so many benefits for my skin health to reduce wrinkles, fine lines, age spots, and it overall improves my skin tone. I have a lot of sun damage from playing sports as a kid, so I really need all the help I can get in this department. All One Skin products are formulated with the OS1 peptide, which is the first skin longevity treatment that is designed to extend skin health on a cellular level and address cellular aging at the source. I also have been loving the OS1 Eye Topical Supplement, which is designed for the delicate skin around the eye that ages faster, and it has 25% more of the OS1 for increased impact. One additional thing I appreciate is that One Skin was founded by a team of four female PhD level longevity scientists with over 15 years of experience in stem cell biology, skin regeneration, and aging. Basically, they really know their stuff, and so I'm really excited to continue using their products. When you are ready to try One Skin, you can use my code COMMONTAGS15 to get 15% off the entire order, including subscriptions, so you can go to oneskin.co or click the link in my description box below. Thank you, One Skin, for sponsoring today's video and for making these incredible products. All right, so I decided to pop into some of my local thrifts in Tehachapi. We have, I think, four of them. Um, and I only picked up two things at this store. Um, and <laughs> I was just, it was a day where I was thinking, okay, I need some items. I went the day before to a Goodwill in LA and I struck out. And so I did end up picking up this Lucky Brand cardigan um, because it's a one size fits most. So it's kind of oversized. I like the style. They have reasonably reasonable pricing here, so this was $3. And, um, you know, I mean, we're going into the right season. I also spotted this Free People sweater, also great for this coming season, and also $3. So these are the only two items. I spent probably about three, three and a half hours going around to my stores, and I really tried to find some more stuff, but I mean, it was just not great. So, um, but I did decide to go the following day to LA and I found a few things. Um, I tried to find a corner so I could show you my full basket, <laughs> but it was a busy day. They had 25% off every, everything this day. Um, so here are a couple Torrid sweatshirts um, that are full zip hoodies, and one is a size five, one is a size six. So I really liked those. I think these were marked at $4.99. So with the 25% off, you know, basically just under $4, which is pretty great. I also found this Girlfriend Collective little cropped sweatshirt. It's a size XL, which is really great, but um, time to head home to show you the rest of the stuff. But these are my four bags from that store. All right, I really needed that last thrift stop because as much as it's not a huge amount or anything too extravagant, I found stuff that I was excited to pick up. And I also got something awesome for myself, which I rarely, buy stuff or get excited to buy stuff for myself. Um, okay, so I will show you the item that I picked up for myself at the end. I showed a couple of these in the store, but there were some people that kept coming close. And anyways, I just decided it would be easier to show you at home. Um, and I haven't, all of these should be listed by the time the video goes up, but I haven't photographed any of this. So there were a few Torrid 
five, size five and six um, sweatshirts, hoodies, like full zip hoodies. I grabbed two of them because the other ones were a little bit more basic. This is a size five. It has some rainbow stripes. It's a full zip hoodie. Um, absolutely think that's adorable. These were marked $4.99 with the 25% 20, off. So just under $4. This is a size six, and this is also full zip hoodie, and this is just a camo. I thought that was really, you know, like a subtle camo. And then I think I showed this one in the store. Uh, this is the Girlfriend Collective. I'm kind of tempted to try this on because, uh, you know, gym days, fall's coming. So if it's not listed, I'm keeping it. But um, Girlfriend Collective, I occasionally pick up. That's a really great size being an extra large and yeah, kind of a good neutral pink. This is a brand I've sold a few times, Simply, and it says made in Canada, Simply with an I on the end. And this is a size 12. These were $5 with the, with the discount, the 25% off, but they're really stretchy, cozy, comfy pants. They do have a little sheer panel at the bottom. And uh, I've done fairly decent with this brand. So I've never sold pants like this from them. Um, it's usually like lightweight black jackets and anyways, but um, yeah, I feel like I should be able to sell that. <laughs> All right, this was a hoodie. Who was it? Oh, Madewell. And again, I'm thinking fall, comfy, cozy, winter's coming. Um, this is the MWL line by Madewell, which stands for make weekends longer. This is also a size extra large, which is why I was really excited to get it. Um, and it was priced at probably $5. Yeah. With the, so all of this so far has basically been a little under $4 a piece, which is not bad for a thrift store. And, you know, I probably wouldn't pay much more for those, those items. All right. This is a standard James purse. This is kind of a bread and butter brand for me. It's pricey basics. And as much as something like this doesn't seem too exciting, this has kind of a boat neck on it. It's also a size four, which they have vanity sizing. So the size four, I think is the large, extra large, somewhere around there. Um, but this is just a black fitted tee, but it's got a little bit of ruching on each side, which probably adds a little bit of a flattering element on the stomach. So I knew even though this was basic, this might sell for, you know, 30, to $40 even for that basic. All right, this I picked up for the embroidery and because this is a brand that I, you know, pick up pretty pretty often. It's a H&M, it's part of the H&M family and other stories, but it's one of their better lines or brands. Um, but this is just a really adorable sweater with the bird embroidery and uh, it's pretty small. It's a size two, but I thought it was absolutely adorable. And again, the pricing at this store was not terrible this day. Sometimes they do mark things up and um, yeah. All right, this was a new brand to me. It's called The Upside. And the reason it stood out is because it says designed in Australia. Um, it's kind of just this knit sweater, wrinkled because it's been in her bag, has these little stripes, but also on the back of the neck, it had this little arrow. I just thought there were a lot of details on it that made me want to look it up. This is priced at $7 and some of these can sell for $30 to $50, similar sweaters. So yeah, um, I think it needs a wash because there's some lint and stuff on it, but not a big deal. This one I almost left behind, <laughs> but then I'm like, I don't know. I mean, it was $8.99. Uh, with the discount, it probably brought it down to, you know, six-ish dollars. And it did retail for $118. It's a size extra small, free people. But I think this is a cute fall piece. It's not quite extreme fall with like, you know, the oranges and the reds, but that little pop of pink is kind of fun. It's got the plaid. It's got a little bit of a, um, a tie at the waist and then some raw hem. So yeah, free people, we the free. You know, I don't like to pay up for it, but it is new with tax. We are going into the right season. And turning $6 into maybe 30, <laughs> you know, after fees, it's nothing huge, but it still should make a profit. And let's see, this is, I believe, Enza Costa, which is a Los Angeles brand that I've sold a few times. And this was also only the $5 with the 25% off. This is just a black button front shirt, but it's got the dolman sleeves. 
it has a little bit of like the relaxed look. Um, not This brand does not sell quickly for me, but it does sell and it does have decent comps. Um, and they do have some unique, unique pieces. So I decided to give this a try. I've never sold a button down from them, but um, we'll see. I picked up a couple thermals for three free people and I'm really tempted. Is this the one? I mean, purple is not my shade, so I'm not tempted to keep this, but this is a size large going into fall, winter when the girlies love the free people thermals. This one has a zipper on the cuff. All the cuffs usually have some sort of accent, but this is a great size. And um, sometimes some thermals can sell for over hundred dollars. Some can sell for $20. It really depends on that cuff accent, which are more desirable. Um, so that one I picked up mainly because the size, I don't think that cuff is all that exciting, but it is a good size and someone's going to rock it this fall winter. Okay. This is editing me and the thermal, the free people thermal I listed as $49. I couldn't find the exact one with Google lens. I was like, Hey, if I got 35, that'd be great. No, this is one of the thermals that is worth a lot of money. Uh, so I got an offer kind of low right away. And then I got another offer that was decent at 40. And I'm like, why am I getting all these offers? This isn't a good free people thermal, but it is. It was worn by a girl. I'll pop up a picture on the vampire diaries. And many of these have sold between 75 to 200. So the more, you know, and I listed it for one, relisted it for 199. And I'm hopeful for one to 150 might take a little bit to sell, but I'm very excited that I figured this out before it actually sold. So yeah. All right. I picked up two Levi's pairs of Levi's and I know these aren't as desirable anymore or I, I don't know, but I still occasionally pick them up. This is the wedgie skinny. The reason I grabbed these is because I do love just a basic gray skinny jean. It's got the raw hem. People are still wearing these with boots. Um, this has got the button fly and you know, size 27 could be smaller, <laughs> but we're just, we're going into that season where this is a great basic and someone who already owns this needs a new one, needs another one in a different color. So that's my reasoning. I did get a rib cage, which I feel like I've said it before. I feel like I've said the rib cage before, but I honestly don't think I've ever picked it up. Um, like maybe it was flawed or I don't know, maybe it was priced too high, but the, these were $6.99. So basically, you know, around $5 for each. This is a tiny size, which is fine. Um, size 24, this is the rib cage straight, which I, you know, just had, these have loyal followings. They're easy to search. I will try to be somewhat competitive with pricing because there's, you know, a lot out there, but, um, you know, five bucks, maybe sell them for about 30. They used to sell for more, but um, 30, 35 is probably the best I'm looking at. And I haven't looked up comps recently, so that's just my guesstimate. All right, I, I kind of wanted, wanted to pick these up because A, I like the style. Um, they have some embroidery. They had a few pairs of the hidden jeans and I honestly can't remember who sells hidden. Um, and I know I've looked it up at one point, but these have a raw hem and then just the most adorable little embroidery right here with like little hummingbirds. So I left the other ones behind. These are size 29. Um, but again, I think this is just a transitional pair of jeans. You can wear them fall, spring, summer, um, even winter if you want a little pop of color with the hummingbirds. But all right, this is a pair of mother and this is not my favorite pair of mother to pick up. This is the looker crop and the, the color is flowers from the storm. These are a size 25, but for five bucks, mother is still a desirable brand. This is still a great basic. Obviously they need to be steamed <laughs> to get the wrinkles out. But, um, you know, I mean, some mother can do really well. This is one that's probably only going to be in the 30, 35 range. If I had to guess, um, just because this is one of the more common and, not a recent style. All right, this was laying on top of a rack and I just loved the print of it. And so I like grabbed it thinking, oh, it's, you know, not gonna be anything. And this isn't, I mean, Alice and Olivia is not my favorite brand to pick up, but they do have some cute stuff. This is also a size large. So I don't know where I can wear this, <laughs> but I feel like I should try, you know, I don't know. 
I don't know if I could rock this on like a date night or something, but I'll try it on. See if I can maybe get one more out of it. Just because it's so, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. Like just the color combo and um, anyways I think it's a tunic maybe a mini dress but size large Alice and Olivia absolutely beautiful I'm hopeful that this will do well just because it will photograph well but Alice and Olivia historically has not been my quickest flip all right here's the other free people thermal this is the just metal be the free tag this one has this kind of accent on the cuff really nice little mint minty color and yeah so i'll look those up i always screenshot them on google lens to make sure that the, ther the the free people thermals aren't some like outrageously rare one because i have made that mistake before and <laughs> i got a whole bunch of offers or something on one of mine and i think i priced it like 40 or something and i ended up taking the room, the listing down, listing it again for like a hundred bucks and it sold for like 70 or something. So I try to make sure I, I look up the exact style. All right. This I took a chance on because there is a little spot, but it looks like it will come out. Viore is a brand that I don't find often enough. So I just get excited to see it. And it's just a little kind of lightweight tee, but there is just a tiny spot. I scraped at it and it, it, it looks like it's a surface spot, like maybe a little like sticker glue or something. So I decided to take a chance on it. Uh, it's a size medium, pretty basic, but I always get excited to see that brand. All right, this is an adorable little free people cardigan, I wanna say. What, what's going on? Oh yeah, okay. Um, it's a size large. Oh, look at how cute that is. I mean, not with the baseball hat, but also I'm not a Dodger fan. I just went to a Dodger game recently and I had to buy a hat. Now I feel like I need to, how cute is this? Um, okay, well maybe this will get worn <laughs> a few times. I'm not even a purple person, but this is like a, you know, a really nice shade of purple. Um, anyways, it's free people, the regular metal tag, size large, and they did not have this marked up. It was marked at $7. They do mark up free people there often. So um, I grabbed it. A good size and a good style. All right, this is a new to me brand, Sonnet James. It's called a play dress. This is a midi length pencil dress and it's striped. They have this in different colors. I quickly looked up the brand and it looks like some of these are selling 30, 40. Um, so I thought, why not? The price tag came off on this, but um, this store will write the price on a tag. So this was six or 5.99. Um, so, you know, five bucks with the discount for the day. And this is COS, another H&M brand. And I thought this was a really great fall piece. It's a midi length shirt dress. Um, so I think with a pair of boots, this would be really adorable. This is a size four. I do like COS a little bit bigger, um, but I do fairly well with this brand. It's kind of a bread and butter for me. I find it often enough. Um, and I like a lot of their styles, so. All right, this is Daughters of Liberation, which has been sold at Anthropology. I don't, I don't know if it was exclusive there, but I picked this up because I thought this was such an adorable print. Someone who just can rock this. It will photograph well. I think it'll fit on the size six mannequin. It's kind of a velvet material and it's absolutely adorable, especially for fall coming up. So size four, Daughters of Liberation. This was, you know, again, $4. I thought that was worth it. All right, a couple more items. All right, this is Title IX, which I've had decent luck with. And this is a size large. So that's, it's two for two on that. Um, it's obviously a dress and we're kind of leaving dress season soon, but this you could layer with a black cardigan, some black knee-high boots or something. Like someone, someone could wear this, you know, multiple seasons of the year. And it's stretchy, it's cozy, comfy. Title IX, they have, I would say a lot of the comps of the few things that I've sold are like in the 30 to 40 range. So nothing astronomical, but also decent. All right, this is the last one. This is new with tags, which is why part of, and size 12, which is that combination. Also kind of good going into, I think this is a cute little like Christmas dress. Um, so it's got the little black part. It almost looks like a top and a skirt. 
Now, Allie Rowe, I believe when I first looked it up, like many, many years ago, I thought it was under anthropology, but I don't think it was sold to anthropology. Let me know if you guys have, um, have verified that either way. But size 12, absolutely adorable. I thought this screamed holidays, family dinner, um, great size. And again, new with tags. So they did have this marked at 11. That's kind of why I was humming and hawing. But I think if I put this on the mannequin, I'm hopeful that maybe I can get like 40. But again, I need to look up comps. So, but that was it. It was, it was, a, I, I mean, there's a lot of bread and butter, but there's just some fun prints and, you know, that's kind of what I needed. So, so uh, be sure to hit the thumbs up. Uh, be sure to check out one skin down below and I'll be back soon with another video. Bye guys. I almost forgot the item that I was so excited about. Uh, this is my new weekender bag, which I've actually been on the hunt for one. Um, you know, little weekend trips, like weekend getaways. This is perfect for it. It's Lululemon. I think it's technically a gym bag, but it, you know, it's a multi-purpose bag. It's a really great size. It's got a zipper. It's new without tags because I can't see any signs of wear. Um, but it's a, a really great size. And I just love the fact that it's a neutral. It's got different compartments. So um, they did have this price pretty high. But I did look up comps and I'm still getting a good deal. So they had this priced at $70 um, and it says new Lululemon. Um, or no, it says Lululemon. It doesn't say new, but I can tell it's, it's yeah. Um, so $70 with the 25% off. So uh, some of these have sold an $80 to $100 mark um, on the resale market. And some of them have been flawed on that price point. And this is like one of them had this missing logo. And anyways, there's absolutely no signs of wear. It's a great basic and I'm excited about it. So we'll treat for myself, but anyways, see you in the next one. Bye.